Ladies and gentlemen, I have beef with chess.com. Do you remember Mittens, the chess bot which captivated the world in early 2023? Of course you do. Well, I pitched that chess.com should have dog bots. They've had other bots since the Mittens and cat bots, but I wanted them to feature canines. Why? Because I have one of my own and he is adorable, and his name is Benji. Some of you know that, some of you don't. Chess.com, listen to me. Sort of. You see, they turned Benji into the lowest rated bot of July 2023. He started off as a 300 ELO bot. That's disrespectful. I wanted Benji to be the highest rated bot, and potentially challenge Mittens in a cats versus dog showdown. And they listened to my idea and then threw it back in my face. But what they also did is they made Benji trainable. And the more that you play against Benji, the higher rated Benji gets. And he will get higher rated as the month goes on. In fact, today I was just sitting around on my couch and I noticed that he was already rated 1600. This is Benji. This is a photo from today. This is very adorable. I'm telling you that objectively. You don't even need to give me your opinion of this. This is my doggy, and he is now currently rated 1600. And so in today's video, I am going to play the bots of chess.com for the month of July, and I am going to play my own doggy in chess. Maybe he will make a guest appearance, but if not, then he will make one in a future video. The bots are Wishboy rated 950, Buddy Buckets, like, is that after Jimmy Buckets? That's actually very funny if it is, and if not, then it sounds interesting. Uh, Benji, who is currently rated 1600. Uh, Pinky, who's 1750, and Ponchik. Ponchik is the final boss of the month of July until Benji takes his soul, hopefully. Uh, Ponchik is the lovely dog of Levon Aronian, uh, Armenian-born Grandmaster, and Punchik uh, still has the Armenian flag. His father has since changed his federation to the United States, but Levon Aronian, one of the best players of the last some 20 years. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to start with the white pieces, and we're going to play bots from 950 to 2600, and they're dogs. So, adorable. Hey kids, today we're learning about the 1978 World Chess Championship between Anatoly Karpov and Viktor Korchnoi. You literally won't believe what happened. Um... I didn't ask. Pawn to d4. We're starting off. Um, d5. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to play a queen's gambit. I'm going to play a Catalan with knight f3 and pawn to g3. The idea is to fianchetto the bishop on, on the diagonal like this. And then short side castling. Uh, this bot is playing a semi-slav defense. This is crazy. Um... Wishboy is playing a triangle system defense in the queen's pawn, and now they take on c4. Uh, I leave this here for now. I have multiple ways of winning it back. First of all, I can win it back with the knight. Second of all, the queen. Third of all, this knight. That's not a good move because you need to develop the other pieces. The, if you're going to develop the queen early in the game, you need to have a tangible reason to do so. Uh, I can play knight e5, and now I'm going to take this and attack the queen. I... I don't really know what Wish Boy's doing, so that that now I'm now I got my pawn back and my bishop is very strong. The queen moves there attacking my knight. I can move it again or I can try to make progress in the position. The queen is always comfortable on c2 in the Catalan. It helps support the center. Uh, don't put your knight in front. That would be very tragic. I think I'll develop my bishop, threatening to take and opening up uh, Wish Boy's king. Uh, Wish Boy protects against that, and I, I guess we'll just finish development like this. Um, Everything is okay. Knight g4, I, is there a threat to this move? Not really. Um, so I'm going to target the bishop. It can't retreat anywhere, actually. Wish, wish boy just moved the knight. And then... Uh, all right, well, that's just a free bishop for me, then. Now, you probably missed this. The queen is attacking the pawn in the knight, right? It's also attacking this. So I'm up material. It's a good idea to trade pieces. I just want to go play Benji. Just want to play Benji. Pawn to e3. I could have defended this pawn. I forgot about it. He won't take. <laughs> Rook a4. Uh, knight e4. When you're up material, you should trade. 
All right, we're trading pieces, and I'm threatening on h7. Oh, the queen guards. And now the bishop comes back, and we'll come back this way, and I think I'm going to put my knight on e5, or not. Uh, I am threatening this. That's very nasty by me. Now, wish boy didn't quite stop it. Got a little bit lucky there, but I'm going to attack the rook. If the rook moves anywhere, it's mate. Okay, the rook did not move anywhere. Um, I guess I'll just give a check and win the rook like this. So now I am up two rooks for a bishop. I'm going to win these pawns. Easiest way to win this is to simplify and take as many pawns as possible. Uh, we're going to take this on the next move. And uh, he can take. Okay, he does take. Wish boy getting cooked. Trash ass bot. I mean, just kidding, wish boy. You're adorable. Pre move. Pre, pre move. Pre move. Come on, wish boy. It's just a matter of time. Force him to the D file. Some of you may be confused how to win this position because, like, if the king goes here, you might accidentally stalemate. Yeah, like, if I push this, it's a stalemate, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, so you need to always make sure the king has some breathing room. Uh, in this case, th this, in my opinion, is the easiest way. Just put the rook back. You can take, and as long as the king is just cut off and stationary, yeah, it's easy. And now I'm going to win exactly as I should, which is by promoting uh, two knights and then delivering a checkmate with my rook and my two knights. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here, cut the king off. We're going to bring the knight. We just have to not give a stalemate. Maybe I should make another knight. What, what, what do we think about that? I'm going to go here, here, and promote another knight. There we go. Because he's not resigning. I'm going to, you know what? I want to make another knight. How about that? I'm going to make four knights against this bot. That's what it gets. It, it needs to find the resign button. Now it's stalling. All right. Now I got a lot of knights, so I got to not, I, I can't stalemate. All right. The king is cut off, which is nice. I'm going to bring my king so my rook is defended. Could have cut the king off again. Yup. Like this. Now we're going to bring the horses. Check. And... That's nice. That's... Share! Yes! No, I, I, I don't want to share. That was awful. Uh, GG's, though. All right, buddy buckets. Uh, I got the black pieces this game, and Benji's next. Um, all right, we'll start off with a Karo Khan against the 1350 bot. Uh, I'm 2800. Queen H5! Doesn't make any sense against the Karo, because you can't even put your bishop here. So, now I'm just gonna develop, right? This is why the form of checkmate doesn't work against the Karo Khan. Um, if you take them this, so I would just recommend developing the knight first to hit the queen. And you could push, you could, you could do a lot of things here. Um, I'm gonna develop my knight. It's not the best move, but it is what it is. And now I'm gonna develop my bishop, and I'm gonna develop my pawn and my other bishop. Okay. So this move blocks my bishop, but now takes away the natural developing square of the knight, which is nice for me. So white has kind of gotten in his own way. It's also a dog. Wow. H4 on the way? This is really aggressive stuff. Wow. Okay, well, uh, I could play H5. I could also just play H6. I mean, I, there, there, there's nothing here. There, there's nothing. I was very aggressive. But in fact, I don't even have to castle. I think my opponent has played very poorly, and I can already start firing. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play principal chess. With the king still in the center, I can open things up. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good move. We'll take... Uh, and now I can play for rook e8 and e5. I could have maybe also just played e5. I can also play here. That's just a terrible move. I have no idea what this bot is doing. Now we're going to open up the center, which is very principled with the king still there. Queen a5 is next. d4 always looking very nice. Uh, rook e3 looks nice. Rook e3 looks really nice, but I'm going to go here. I think they're... Uh, then I play rook e1. Oh, predicted it. Uh, check. Uh, I don't have a check or a check, but I guess I can take the rook and then take the pawn. And uh, that's actually checkmate, by the way, if, I d if that happens. So we're going to trade and take the bishop. And I am up a lot. This bot was worse than the other bot. Let's play a5, a4 maybe. I could have brought my rook. It doesn't really matter. Oh no, my, my knight. No, don't take my knight. Uh, don't take my knight. Oh no. 
Double check. Oh no, rugby one. That's checkmate. Oh. Okay, that bot was awful. They're really bad at, at identifying a strong 1300 bot. I don't know why the bots on 1300 are so unpredictable. Now, it's time to play my dog in chess. Benji, I raised you well. You're up to 1600 now. Let's see what you got for me. Ladies and gentlemen, bark food, bark walk, food sleep. Let's play chess. <laughs> they better have made this voice lines good or I'll fire whoever made this bot. I, I, I do not work at chess.com. No, I, listen, to folks at chess.com watch my videos and I don't want anybody to think like I'm their boss. You, none, none of y'all work for me. Please don't. My dad is so funny. Each night after we put on our matching pajamas, we train chess puddle puzzles until the sun comes up. I'm so lucky my dad wrote a book for me to chew up. You son of a bitch. You better not eat my book. All right, I'm going to play the Vienna. Does Benji say anything about the Vienna? No. F4. Vienna Gambit versus my bot. My, my dog, not my bot. My, my, my dog bot. Benji plays Knight C6. This is the Vienna Gambit declined. And um, Benji takes on F4. Dad gives me a treat every time I move the little toy forward. I still don't know why. Adorable. Um, I, I, I guess I'll play D3. I want to take this pawn back. Okay, Benji does not want to get... It's exactly like a stick on the street, by the way. It's exactly how he acts. Uh, knight to d5, I want to take this pawn back with my knight. Benji, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now we're going to go knight takes here, and I, I think the position's about equal. We probably have a slight, slightly better position. Black has some damaged pawns. By black, I mean my bot. My dog. Why do I keep calling him my bot? This is a fork, but Benji, I don't think you should... I mean, I can go queen c1, but Benji, I don't... I don't, don't be greedy, Benji. Don't take this pawn. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to open up the center. You see, Benji didn't castle, so... Yeah, now I can open up the center, and that looks very dangerous. Don't take with the bishop. All right. But this looks really nice. I mean, look at my rook's laser beaming. Uh, I want to go here... But first I need to do this, and if check I have d4, and then I take, and Benji's in serious trouble, I think. Oh, Benji, I really don't mean to beat you in chess. Benji, uh, it's looking really dicey. But there is this, it's not over. It's not over, but Benji's not gonna castle anytime soon. Oh, but knight e5, the haymaker, knight f7, knight, knight that hits the queen. Ah, uh, this looks really unpleasant. But again, not over yet. Queen b4 maybe. Yeah, and then and then and then maybe knight f7. Okay, now I like this. I like the fact that Benji can't castle. That's good. Queen b7. This looks really nice. Yeah, the 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 cutoff of the kings and the oh, that's a nice move. But I have check. I have check and I can come back to take the pawn and I think I am in good shape. Knight c6 looks good. Knight f7 looks good. Knight c6, knight e7. If I move my knight, I, th I, think, I think I'm just going to just go take the pawn. And then I'll play knight c6. And now I feel like I'm threatening a lot of very unpleasant things here for Benji. Uh, rook d1, rook d8 is it? Oh, knight e7. Oh, knight e7. Oh, he stopped knight e7. Look at Benji stopping that. That's really nice. What a champ. He's still going to lose. But, you know, he's still going to lose, but at least he's putting up a fight. He's trying to checkmate me. I mean, you got to love it. Look at this incredible stuff that's made on the board. Um, I can take, then here. And I actually, yeah, I mean, if I, if I sacrifice, I guess I have to go here. Wow. Good fight, Benji. You put up a good fight, but unfortunately now dad has to win the game. Um, got to pay the bills. That's a rook fork. Yep, and uh, that's next. Dad didn't teach me that move. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Stop lying. Big woof, says Benji. <laughs> All right, Benji. Out of respect, I am not going to uh, play any in a, in a disrespectful manner. I'm just going to promote to a queen. This is a sad moment. I'm going to beat my dog. Takes. <laughs> Do I still made him out of mercy? Oh. Uh, no. No. GG, Benji.
that was good. That was you put up a good fight. I look forward to playing you when you're too good, and and you can you can you know you can beat me. Uh, yeah, it was a nice game where I I got my pawn back from the gambit, and I and I thought I did a, a nice job here. It's important to attack in the center of the board before your opponent is able to get safely castled, and I think I demonstrated that pretty nicely with my prying away the queen from the defense of the pawn on d6. Um, it was a good game, uh, and Benji played well, but unfortunately, I am very good at chess and also very handsome. Also a great dog dad. All right, now we're going to play the 1700, and then we go up a little bit to 2600. Um, I want to play a Dutch. I'm working on a Dutch defense course. I have many courses, but I'm working on the Dutch defense. Um, a lot of fun lines in the Dutch. One of them is the Leningrad. I've played this quite a bit. Castles. It's when you play f5, g6, and then you play d6. Will the bot go here? Okay, bot does that. That's fine, but you really should be pushing your c-pawn out. Um, but okay, I mean, there's nothing really, there's nothing like horribly wrong with this. Uh, e6, knight c6. Knight c6, d5 is a, is a little bit unpleasant, but I can always play e5. In fact, now I can play knight here to hit the bishop, and that prepares e5. Doesn't that just hang a pawn? Am I... Okay, first let me take the bishop, because that was my plan, and isn't this just a... Am I missing something? I feel like I am, because I... I so, in the Dutch, you need to be careful about these checks to your king at knight f7, which can be a bit... a bit annoying, and queen c4 is definitely a thing. Like, the bot is, uh... being a little bit unpleasant here, for sure. Um... If knight d4, queen c4, e6, e3, maybe I have d5. Then there's like knight d5. No, I, I mean, I, that, that actually just looks pretty decent for the bot. Wow. You have to play some stupid move like queen e8. Or e6, but e6 there is this move. Which is just extremely annoying. I want to play e6. I hope the bot doesn't go here. <laughs> 95 if take then take wow if take then take okay okay take um i don't think that was the best move this bot is ridiculous by the way it's playing extremely well um I'm gonna go back to c6. I have to win this pawn, it's too strong. It's too strong. Knight d5, definitely expected. Rook e8, potentially. If, if, if I move my queen anywhere else, uh, I'm, I run the risk of, of getting forked. So I'm gonna go rook e8, rook e6. The bot is just playing perfectly. Uh, I saw that move coming and I was afraid because I couldn't do anything about it. So let's go knight to d4. If take, take. Yeah, I saw this. E7. Uh, I guess I play queen here. And I want to go c6 next. That is a mistake. Because I think that allows me to play pawn to c6. And my knight is still defended by my bishop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What is that? That doesn't make sense, I don't think. The knight is still hanging and the knight is still defended. I mean, I'm playing a bot, so I'm kind of terrified, but I, I, I don't think it's handling this the right way, <laughs> which, is, which is kind of a wild thing to say to a robot. Uh, Rook e7 is a, is a move. We can trade, and then knight g6, I can go out there, but I, I also like this move, just attacking the knight. That looks pretty reasonable. Okay. I feel like we've made progress. The bot still wants this, but I can, I can play g5, and I think the worst is over. Knight h5, I think I can, I think I'm going to trade queens. And I can take on c2, I believe. <laughs> I mean, easier said than done, but we're going to try it, boys and girls. Uh, now we come back. I, I think this was a mistake, too. Um, and now maybe rook c8 and here, something like that. Get the pawn, rook c8. Trading is bad. Yeah, I think trading is not a good move. We're going to try to get this. Fork! Fork! Yes! Yes! We got a fork! Oh, now we're in good shape. We take back. The fork is still there. 
I think we take this one, although I'm not really sure there's a difference. Ah, oh, nice. That was a poor game, but it doesn't matter because you'll have no idea. <laughs> it looked like it was a good game. It looked like I was under control. We're going to get the rook to the second rank. Very important to paralyze the opponent's king. Uh, and now, relatively straightforward game. Uh, oh, I did not do that. But uh, should be easy. Attack the bishop. Everything is on a dark square. A5, A4. I'm going to sack the rook for the pawn. And that's just game over. You can't take it. If you take it, I promote. Yep. Uh, I'm going to recenter the rook exactly like I did in the other endgame. And I'm just going to advance. There's absolutely nothing the bot can do. A2 is next for that. And uh, I don't promote. I don't promote to anything except rooks and knights. Do 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 do. Ladder maid. Do 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 do. Which brings me to the final game, the 2600 ELO bot Ponchik. Is it helpful if your dog dad is a 2700 rated Grandmaster? Whew, good question. Um, I'm going to play d4. Ponchik has defeated many Grandmasters this way. After the game, you are allowed to pet Ponchik twice. No more, no less. Ponchik will not stop speaking in the third person. You must play by Ponchik's rules. Trumpowski. Okay. Um, my favorite opening, the raptor variation. C5, D5, queen B6, I'll play knight D2. We're playing a very aggressive way against the bot. It's not going to take this. It has taken that. G6, sacrificing a pawn to open up the files. All right, this is a very, very aggressive uh opening being played right now e4 so i'm down two pawns against the bot um maybe i can win and i can be a hero rook b1 i'm down two pawns against the bot this is like very scary stuff three pawns i have sacrificed three pawns against the bot wow um bishop c4 just for crazy amounts of development crazy crazy amounts of development here um i can take i think i can also just develop you can also play like queen g4. Man, every move looks good. Um, I mean, I think I am just going to play queen g4. Rook h7 is now one of my threats. Okay. The bishop looks really strong and d6 is not possible. Rook h7 looks so nice. But then knight e5. Rook h7, knight e5. So I have, to, I have to finish up my development first. But now d6 is possible. Okay. But now I have rook h7. Can I also sack my queen? For a mate, that would be pretty sick, but I don't think it works. Rook h7, let's go! Queen g6, my two pawns have been seized back. And I can take the rook next. Alright, so now we're even on pawns. No, wait, I'm still down a pawn. I can't count. It's okay. Uh, good at chess, bad at counting. Happens. I want to give a check and sneak back here, but I feel like I'm, for I'm, I'm letting the king come out. Um, and the queen wants to go back to f6. I definitely have a, have, a, have a nice attack here. I can walk my king over, get out of the pin. That could be an idea, but knight b4 could be coming. Um, what do I do? I don't want to take. It's a little too early to capture that. Queen h8, queen g8. Oh, everything looks good. Everything looks good in this position. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play rook b3. I'm going to... Oh, I hung this pawn. What am I doing? That was unnecessary. Overcomplicated it, overthought it. Let's play queen takes g7. That was bad. I mean, it's a very complicated game, but no need to blunder pawns away. King f1, that's almost mate, which it, I really don't like that. e5? Knight g5? It's like, am I getting mated? Am, am I doing the mating? I can't tell. E5. I, I don't know. Am I mating? Am I losing? King E2? Okay, bishop E7. <laughs> he said pawn check. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, chess players are such nerds. Um, pawn check. <laughs> uh, I hate everything. Um, bishop E4. I, no, 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 no. Rook E3. No. 
This should be four. What do I want in life? What do I want? Check, back. Can I make a draw? I think I have a draw here. Check. And queen back. How do you guard the bishop? Oh, I bang on my bishop! I, I, I just get too stressed. I get too stressed playing these bots, man. I just, I, I just panic. I just panic. Oh, that was so unnecessary. Now I'm just going to lose. Oh, now I'm going to get slaughtered. See, this is why you watch me for entertainment and why you watch Hikaru to, like, actually defeat people. Yeah, that's just game over. Got nothing. Wow. Um, for, my, for my own, like, ego, I, I just want to make sure that, I, like, it, it really wasn't that bad of a position. Yeah, I was, like, slightly better. Queen c3. Yeah, here I had the idea to walk my king, and, you know, the computer says it's, the, it's smart. This was bad, but this was also fine. Oh, and the bishop b4 was the best move. Of course it was, because my bishop was hanging. That's so frustrating. I mean, I, I said this because I think somewhere in my brain it was like, your bishop is hanging, you should move it. And then I was like, wait a minute, I should just repeat moves because it's going to repeat. Well, that's kind of a bummer to end this video on. But the good news is that Benji, my beloved, is going to probably get revenge for me. Uh, and, I, and hopefully Benji soon will be higher rated than 1559. And um, we'll take revenge on Ponchik because that was ridiculous. I... Benji, help. Your dad is a degenerate. All right? Help me, please. Save me from myself. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Um, maybe I'll try to fight Ponchik again. But in the meantime, you know what you got to do. Get out of here. Oh, and go play Benji.